One one thing that you can always appreciate, right, is when when politicians come across as human. I mean, it's it's a very rare thing, you know, to see nowadays. I mean, especially when they're a Tory, because you don't expect it, <laughs> right? But apparently, somewhere up in Aberdeen, uh, Mary Michael Gove was seen dancing alone <laughs> in an Aberdeen nightclub. Uh, the Tory minister reportedly said he did not need to pay to get in because he is Chancellor of Duchy of Lancaster. I mean, that's, that's, that's one way. That's one way to do it, to get in a pub. Um, arms aloft, suit jacket on, Michael Gove has been filmed giving it his all in an Aberdeen nightclub after reportedly trying to avoid a £5 entrance fee by stating that he was the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster. I mean, this man is... Blatantly, a millionaire and still would not part with a fiver. However, it seems that us being Scots, we understood. <laughs> we understood, and it seems he was let in anyway. And I don't know. I don't know if you've actually seen the video. If you've seen the footage, go, 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 watch it. Go watch it. It is. It, it's. It's like your dad at a wedding. It, honestly, that that's what it's like. Uh, footage of the recently separated uh, former Vote Leave Supremo throwing shapes at 1.15am at Bohemia Nightclub circulated on the internet on Sunday. His hands flailed wildly and occasionally swung in time to the music in the clip filmed by a fellow clubber. Friends of Gove denied that he had attempted to avoid paying. <laughs> However, like, I wouldn't have blamed him, so I had back of Gove. Tory, Tory boy, Tory boy, shouldn't have to pay, shouldn't have to pay for you, I could buy your nightclub. <laughs> so, the 54-year-old cabinet minister who grew up in Aberdeen was on a trip to see family when he apparently walked into O'Neill's bar at 1.15am. Whoops. After uh, last orders were called, uh, Gove was uh, urged by drinkers to join them upstairs at the club Bohemia, where he reportedly stayed until at least 2.30am. We told you bizarre footage emails of the Tory MP raving away with punters at Bohemia on Saturday night, having reportedly turned up to the club on his own. Yeah, apparently he was just on his own and a man just man just decided to go into a pub and look, we've all been there before, right? Well you go out with your friends and you're expecting a wild one, but your friends have your friends have, you know, drank themselves out too early and they're like, ah, man, I just kind of want to go home and everything. But unfortunately, you've just dropped your third Mitsubishi and you're, you're, in, no, you're in no mood to go home. You're a bit like sleep. Sleep is an afterthought to you right now in your uh, chemically addled mind. So you might just go to a couple of clubs by yourself. But it's fine because these Mitsubishis are really good and you know you're going to make friends when you're there. <laughs> anyway... Uh, the club night, called Pipe, was described as an unpredictable mix of the most high-energy UK and global club music scenes. Adam Taylor, the manager of Pipe, told the Daily Record newspaper that Gove, who had been drinking downstairs, tried to walk past him without paying the entry fee. He's, he was saying he shouldn't have to pay because he is the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster. I told him that my co-manager, Nina Sanger, was upstairs playing jungle and going hard. Michael said, I love dancing. <laughs> and did he ever. <laughs> what? One witness claimed Gove was there by himself. Singer Emma Lament 30, who had performed an acoustic set earlier in the night, said she couldn't believe what she was seeing when the Mary MP rocked up just before closing time. She told the record, I'm almost sure he was by himself. I heard people saying he's a Tory MP. Others asked, who's Michael Gove? And were googling him. I'll admit, you know, being, being a Tory, although in Aberdeen, you're probably all right. That's Scotland's oil city. You're, prob you're probably all right. Uh, being a Tory in Aberdeen. Anywhere else though, not so much. It's not even it's not even good being me in certain pubs. Yeah, there was a there was a certain uh, dr drinking establishment in Edinburgh that I was put out of because uh, the owner uh, did not like my politics. That was the exact words that he used. So basically he is not in favour of uh, individual liberty, freedom, gay marriage, gay rights, you know, and uh, people's freedom for the government. So the owner of this pub was obviously a fascist. That's why he didn't like my politics. Um, <laughs> She said Gove was still there at 2.30am, uh, he really was enjoying himself. I don't think he left the dance floor the whole time I was there. And the, the footage of him dancing, I swear to God, watch it. It's, it's, it's like cringe, but at least it's funny cringe. Uh, 
The footage emerged just as the cabinet minister was being tipped to replace Dominic Raab as foreign secretary, secretary in a reshuffle later this year or in early 2022. Uh, Gove and the journalist Sarah Vine announced their separation two months ago after 20 years of marriage and are in the process of getting divorced. The pair said they remained close friends and would continue supporting their two children. Now, there's a story about that. I'm not allowed to tell you. I'm not allowed to talk about it. Journalists are also not allowed to talk about it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I will say. That's all I can say. Uh, a friend of Gove's uh, confirmed that he had been to the nightclub, but said claims he attempted to avoid paying were not recognised. He loves Aberdeen and its nightlife. The friend said, Pfft, "You are." the only person that has ever said that. <laughs> a statement from the Pipe Club said, thanks to all the amazing people and Michael Gove who made it out for the first pipe last night. We had a great time going in for four hours straight. Definitely blew some cobwebs away. And that's that's lovely. Because one of, the, one of the things that usually happens is when it comes to politics and stuff like that, like see, see if people are just out for a night out. They're just there to enjoy drinking with their friends and stuff like that, right? That's all. And the fact is that even though these people that own the club, they, they might be Labour voters, they might not like the Tories, they might all like that. They just saw him coming in and dancing like a dad and enjoying himself. And like, see that? That's great. That's fine. There was no drama. There was no grief. Everyone just, everyone was just sort of watching this guy, dad dancing on the dance floor. And everyone's like, is that fucking Michael go? Right. So see that? That's funny. That's funny. That's nice. I've had... People come up to me at fucking nightclubs and everything and like try and have like a debate <laughs> with me like next to the dance floor and it's like, mate, I'm I'm out drinking with my pals. I'm not here I'm not here to discuss the fundamentals of freedom of speech or what crimes should be considered hate crimes or about a video that I made like five years ago or that picture of me with Tommy Robinson for, from a very long time ago. I'm not I'm not here for that, mate. I'm here to I'm here to have a bevy with my pals. Like I had two fucking harpies try and do that to me the other night. <laughs> you know that as well. Like, so see see that, the fact that he went out and he had a great time. Um, I don't know, I don't know if there was a lot of, uh, you know, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying like, if you, I used to, I used to be a bouncer. If, if, if you, if you haven't left the dance floor the entire night, I know that energy is coming from somewhere, right? No, no person in their 30s can stay on the dance floor the entire night. Right? I'm going to look at your pupils. But at the end of the day, that is in fact his business. You know, if uh, if uh, Michael Gove was out at a rave in Aberdeen and he was just whacking down the, the, the Batmans and the Mitsubishis and the peace symbols and all that, that's fine. You know, that's his, that's his business. I mean, it, it's, it's, nice, it's nice to see uh, politicians being human and, you know, them being Tories. It's a nice change. <laughs> 